one I mined, and I have a very short review for you all today. But here is the final Ninjago Dragons Rising set that's out now that I haven't yet covered on the channel. Set 30650, Kyan Rapton's Temple Battle, which is of course a poly bag which retails for $4.99 in the US. As with most poly bags, the release on this is really inconsistent. It might be super easy to find in your country, might be super hard to find, and there might even be differences between different parts of the same country. So if you want to buy this for yourself, I cannot tell you where the best place to get it is, but let's just take a look at the set itself. So there's not a ton to the main build of the set, it's just this little temple right here. I do like how the aesthetics match some of the small temples that come in the full-size sets, so that way this isn't the only build like this you'd have in your collection if you buy the entire wave. There's a little sign in the center for the characters to fight over and also use as a weapon if you want, two lances hanging down. I like the golden frog at the top, that's a fun touch. And the candle pieces to be bamboo actually look really nice too. But yeah, I don't have too much else to say on the actual build here. And now let's take a look at the far more important part of this poly bag, the two figures that it comes with. So you can see it comes with the Dragon's Rising Kai as well as Rapton, and both of these figures are fantastic and this is a great way to get them, because yeah, this is by far the cheapest way to get both of these figures. The next cheapest way for Kai is $20, and that's a 4 plus set, so if you don't count that, then it's $55. And the cheapest set that Rapton comes in is $48, so $5 for both of them is definitely a lot cheaper. So if you live somewhere where this poly bag's available, this is definitely a very good way to get it. But in terms of the quality of the figures themselves, I mean, yeah, they're fantastic. Dragon's Rising Kai is amazing, one of my favorite new figures of the wave. I actually do really like the new Dragon's Rising armor and hood pieces. I know not everyone's super hot on them, but I don't know, I think they work pretty well for this wave. I especially love the black belt on Kai, I think that looks fantastic. And you can see that he comes with two golden katanas as his accessories. Removing his armor piece, there's a full look at his face print, and there's a look at his alternate face too, which I think is one of the best Kai faces that we've ever gotten. And I love the back torso print too, with like that dragon face and the fire erupting around it. Just a fantastic minifigure in every sense. And even though he does come in a lot of sets of this wave, this is a great way to get him. And then Rapton's super cool as well, but before I talk about the figure itself, I want to talk about his accessory. Because you can see, he comes with a katana as well. However, his katana is actually a trans-orange katana. Now that piece is not new nor exclusive to this set. However, it only comes in one other set, and that's the Ninjago City Markets. That's, of course, a $370 set, so getting it in a $5 poly bag is significantly cheaper, and that's just a really cool part. Because you could see that as like a laser sword, like the Imperium actually used in Ninjago, or it could be like a fire katana for Kai. Either way, it's an amazing color for that part, and I hope to see it in more sets in the future, but I am happy that there is a second way to get it in this poly bag. But then Rapton himself is amazing. He uses the generic black Imperium armor, but the printing on all that is just super high quality. I love how the metallic gold reflects in the light, and the new armor piece for the Imperium soldiers looks great too. I love all the expression in Rapton's face as well, some cool details here such as the scar on one eye, and how he's got like metallic gold for his bottom set of teeth, and you can see his alternate face too where he's just got a more neutral expression, but that works pretty well for him too. There's a look at his back torso print with the armor removed, and then there's a look at his full front torso print, where you can see he's got the Imperium symbol in the center, and his entire outfit's glowing with these orange lights. See, I don't think you guys need me to say that this is one of the best Ninjago poly bags we've ever gotten. Two figures for $5 in general is just really good, but these are two really good minifigures, and the build's not bad either. Like, it's not something downscaled, it actually fits into a Dragon's Rising collection. And then, like, the transparent orange katana is just a cherry on top. So as I said, getting this poly bag is not as simple as, hey, go out and get it. You could probably find it on eBay pretty easily, but if you want to actually buy it for retail, it entirely depends on where you are if you can get it. But yeah, if you're somewhere where this is available, I would highly recommend it. If you don't have any Dragon's Rising sets, this is the perfect way to start out. And even if you have a ton of them, this is a great add-on. I have nothing but good things to say about this set. I am incredibly satisfied with it. But of course, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!